Doing good?
let me start. I'll try a pair. What's the holdup? It's your turn. Pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. My turn again. Okay, moving on. I say. Pass. I'll pass. Pass. There. Pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. I say. This should work. How's this? I'll pass. Pass. Then take I'll this. pass. 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 Guess I should pass. There. You are I'll gonna flush play, this right? Okay, next. I'll pass. I'll pass. Pass. Can you even play anything? Pass. I'll pass. I'll take it easy. Tycoon, huh? Pass. Pass. That work. should work. Low numbers first. Got a pass. pair. Woo! How was that? I'm nope. playing to win. I'll pass. Eh, good enough. I'm playing yeah, to win. I got nothing. Then take yeah, this. I got nothing. Finally. Ugh, you kidding me? This ain't my day. Let's do this! Here comes I'll pass. a pass. I'll pass. You got pass. anything? I'll pass. Low numbers are good. How about I'll pass. a pass. pair? Well, uh, I'm screwed. I'll are pass. you serious? I say pass. I'll pass. For starters, pass. Okay, I'll you're pass. Next. This should work. Then take this. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Ugh, no moves. I say. Can you beat this? Then take I'll this. pass. Yeah, I got nothing. Low numbers first. I'm turning this around. Got anything to play? Yeah, Pass. I got nothing. That should work. Yeah, Pass. I got nothing. I say. Pass. Pass. I'll pass. Then. Pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. <laughs> Guess I should pass. Okay, next. That pass. should work. Pass. Not too shabby. Pass. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I got this. Nothing. Okay. Pass. Can yeah, you read? I got nothing. Finally. This ain't my day. Let's do this! Better play it hmm. safe. Yes. Maybe this? I'm taking it. I'll try a pair. Pass. pass. I'll pass. 
There. Better play okay. it safe. Here. Yeah. I'm playing to I got win. nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'll pass. I got nothing. I'll try a pair. An eight stop. Ah, flashing it. I say. Yeah. Pass. I got I'll nothing. Pass. There. This should work. I think I got a I'll good pass. one. Pass. How about I'll this? pass. Nope. Double up. I'll pass. What? Look, that's I'll too high. It's all mine. Can you beat this? I'll pass. What you got? Pass. Pass. There you go. I'm just that good. Okay. Oh, got a pair. I've got nothing. Not great. You guys are too good. Wow, you're good. What do you want? Yeah. Doing good? First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate! You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I shall explain it to you now. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. 
Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. All right. The time has come. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. You heard? Like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like, well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. The teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. <laughs> Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Ugh, deal with that yourself! Hey, those girls. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's true. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? Look what happened to Kamashita. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. 
Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamashita-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita, but... Do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. No. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Th thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time.
Hey, are you listening? Pay attention! Hey, have you seen that Phantom Aficionado website? I'm the one who started it. Um, you guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Sorry. Although... If things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Kamoshida used me, and I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. That's all I needed to say. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll in the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves, or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? <laughs> in that case, I'll just do what I want. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vibe. It shall become the wings of rebirth, the birth of the moon persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright. See you. We heard all that. Jeez, it was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima-kun's. Has he figured out our identities? Even so, I think it'll be fine. He seemed to be playing it cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though, a forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better. All you're good at is English. I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. 
Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuchi. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists. Bring it. Will you two stop it? Okay. Yet? Get going?
For real? That's the key to this place. You get to lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? Close up. Please don't take off my mind. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, then. are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Uh, there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. 
Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer, then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Oh! This place is off-limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. <sighs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Yeah, you know, he's only been here a month or so. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's bad-mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right, now get the meta-nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? That's 
knows what I'm talking about. Okay, then. Let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh... Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Everyone disappeared! It kind of feels like I'm walking on air? Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat! The hell is this place? Wait, our clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in, you should have told us! We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is... everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we gonna be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana! Transform! Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing! For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! No, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! All 
aboard. Let's go. Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? Um, safety first, okay? You'd better not smash up my beautiful face! You hear me? Alright then, we'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine! You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower, lower! Oh, there! That feels so good. Uh, is that Buren I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car! Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full throttle! It's time to fly!
are you? Are you that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property! I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame? What the hell's this guy going on about? Get ready. Here he comes! forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of me. Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Matarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Matarami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Change... Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, this will make a perfect reward! So, Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Hmm, you do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. Well, sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it! Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What, there's more? Don't worry, it won't take long. Well then. Yes, 
We gotta do it. something? The trains are totally running! Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. Yeah, but I thought this was a palace. Then maybe this is how the public views this place? I don't know. People go through this darkness every day? Forget that! You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. You gotta be kidding me! Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. this place. It's kind of creepy. And a dead end at that. Why does it even exist? Now hold on. Just watch. This is most likely not an ordinary wall. If my hunch is correct... It opened! information see it's just as I thought what do you mean that wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before but it'd be weird for the deepest part of mementos to be some normal place like this wouldn't it so you're thinking there's got to be more yeah now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back and I'll explain more once we're home. Hey, look! A person? In mementos? Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Ooh! Tasty. Hey, what's he drinking? 
Oh. Hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you that. Good point. Sorry about that. It's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? No, um, hmm, Cat? What took so long to come up with Cat? And I'm not either of those. Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not important. Who you are is what matters right now. When you said you were looking for flowers, did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? Hey, could you guys help me with my research? How? By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. Well, what do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Seems like it could do some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it. And it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. No! Lady on! Eh, it's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What'd he say? Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Thanks! Wait, wait! Hang on a second! We still have no idea who this kid is! Don't go thanking us just yet, bud! Aw, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. I am not a cat! And I'm not grumpy! Uh, oh, okay. Then, are you hungry? I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Here, you can have this. Thanks, but I'll pass. You're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Ah, oh, I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job! Who in the hell was that? If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? <laughs> I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him.
doing good. Hey, wait! Mentos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you, too. I... I just needed pawns! I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. <laughs> I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy, or might you be a girl? Yeah, I agree. I wanted to make sure, though, just in case. He could turn out to be pretty ancient. <gasps> what if he smells like an old person? Stop that. In any case, of course I'm male. What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. I gotta study.
Let's do it. 